I'm Beth Banks, the Senior Minister for this congregation, and I'm joined by... Megan Kelly, your Worship Associate and Storyteller. Let's light the chalice. We light this chalice, a symbol of Unitarian Universalism. We are the Church of the Open Minds. We are the Church of the Helping Hands. We are the Church of the Loving Hearts. With minds, hands, and hearts, we care for this earth, each other, and ourselves. What do you do with a problem? By Kobe Yamada, illustrated by Mae Beesom. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem? I thought. I wanted it to go away. I shooed it. I scolded at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if it takes away all my things? I worried a lot. I worried what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. The more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. It didn't feel good. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. I realized I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. Every problem does have an opportunity. Right now we're all being faced with so many problems that we don't wanna have. And it, we've been finding that more and more problems are coming every day. I've been finding it helpful to think about problems that I've had before that I've already finished, that I'm already done with, and remember that everything will be done eventually. And I find it helpful to remember the opportunities that came from those problems. Hey, Reverend Beth. Yeah. Can you think of a time where you had a problem that gave you an opportunity? Well, actually, right now is a great example because I know some things about technology, but I need to learn a whole lot more if I'm going to connect with people in the congregation or my friends or my family, but especially the people right here because I want to gather together with a lot of people at once. So I'm having to learn a lot of new things that I don't know and sometimes it can be just overwhelming. But one of the good things is I realize that a lot of people feel the same way and so I can reach out to them and actually I'm learning more than new skills, I'm making some new friends. Yeah, I also noticed in the book that they talked about how opportunities sometimes only come once. And that was kind of funny to me because I feel like our problems keep happening again and again and again. What do you think about that? Mm, I have to agree. And so I have a feeling that the experiences that I've learned right here, I'm needing to learn all kinds of new skills with Zoom and Facebook and YouTube. Google and YouTube, everything, all at once, stewardship drive, you name it, is going to help me in the future because I'm going to use these technologies after this is passed and we are going to get past this time. So I'll have better skills. So I wonder, when have you had a problem and what did it feel like? What did it feel like in your body? What did you do? 
What wisdom did you learn from that problem? Talk to the people around you about it. Give someone a call. Hit them up on Zoom or Skype or YouTube. See what other people have to say. What wisdom can you learn from a problem? Thank you.